Welcome, cadets. I am Commandant Ax Rothro, and I am very proud to welcome you to Starfleet Academy Command School. Ever since uh, Starfleet Academy was founded, the United Federation of Planets has sought the best and the brightest from over a thousand worlds. Two years ago, we put out the call once again and challenged you to boldly go where no man has gone before. Procedure is getting longer and longer well. every time. Now I'm sure you've all heard a lot about the Starfleet Academy simulator. Now those who excel will become the uh, Starship captains and command crews of tomorrow and challenge you to boldly go where no man has gone before. Procedure is getting longer and longer well. every time. Now I'm sure you've all heard a lot about the Starfleet Academy simulator. Now those who excel will become the uh, Starship captains and command crews of tomorrow. But first, you must learn the grave responsibilities of command. It is now my distinct honor to introduce the new Chief of Command School. I'm Captain Hikaru Sulu. I'll be with you the next two years before I take command of the USS Excelsior. It's my job to create the Starfleet captains of the future. I will test you on your ability to manage your crew. Remember, you will no longer be judged solely by your own conduct, but also by the conduct of those you command. And now, my close friend and our distinguished guest, Captain James T. Kirk. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to Command College. You've just embarked on the most challenging course that the Academy has to offer, and also the most rewarding it is often said that command school cadets are the best of the best, and it's also said that uh, I commanded the best, the best ship, and the best crew. Truth is, there's no such thing as the best. One ship may be brand new, state-of-the-art, but it also has countless bugs to work out. 
Another ship may be a hundred years old and uh, shake like a rattle, but the bugs are long gone, and that's why she's a hundred years old. Same goes for your crew. They may be technical wizards, but if they can't work as a team, their skills are useless to you. When you meet your crew, you'll find a thousand abilities and talents and flaws all crackling against each other. And that's where you come in. Those of you who succeed in building a team will be among the elite few to take us to the stars. Good luck, fair weather, and never forget that risk is your business.